what up people this is Bonjo today we're doing another home reno's video we're taking out the old kitchen taking off the hardware off these counters cabinets the whole kitchen let's go let's go check you out here so the kitchen used to be here we're gonna put up new cupboards and cabinets here we're gonna paint this obviously finish painting that and then put up the new cabinets we got it from ikea they're coming on the 4th of april and right now the apartment's a mess <laughs> you know but uh yeah we're gonna finish up this kitchen put a brand new kitchen in our small apartment for the tourists because tourist season is around the corner and we can't wait you can rent this off us just ask me comment below and say hey where can i rent a nice croatian apartment right on the beach we got the beach right here you know if you guys can see right through the house got a nice little beach view you can go in the bedroom and look through your window wake up with a nice view of the beach of the sea the adriatic sea wow here in croatia it's beautiful but we got everything a mess here everything is a mess but soon we're gonna get a new kitchen and it's gonna be electric updated brand new instead of this old uh propane it was propane gas stove top and there was no there was no uh, oven here so we're gonna put an oven a stove top a nice new sink, a nice new counter, some shelves here, a new fridge, microwave on top with the water heater. Boom! And we got ourselves a brand new kitchen for this one bedroom apartment. Come rent it, baby. This is Bonjo. There it is. Our old kitchen in ruins. Ancient Croatian slash Yugoslavian ruins. So now, all we got to do is wait until Thursday comes actually april 4th that is for our new kitchen to arrive then i gotta build it by hand cut out all the holes in the sink get the electrician and the plumber to come attach it and hook it up let's go this is bonjo's home renos Woo. And bye bye ex yugoslavia kitchen we got this whole wall painted up now finally it's all painted look at that how beautiful it is and then we're gonna get the new kitchen up there. I'm gonna drill a few holes, get the plumbing in, put the electrical in. Zzzz. We're gonna do all that stuff. And it's gonna be a brand new kitchen from Ikea. Now the process in Ikea is kind of different than usual. The process was like, I had to pay 10 euros to book an appointment. Then I had two hours for myself with the Ikea mint uh, representation. So I had to go into this little office and tell them, I can't just draw a floor plan tell them the measurements and be like, this is the exact kitchen I want. It'd literally take that long. They had to put it all together on the screen and show me my space. I had to send pictures, take all the measurements, um, measure it in centimeters, not inches like you Americans would. But um, yeah, I had to do all that stuff. So I had to go in there all the way to Ikea. So the fr I went once because I thought I could just order a kitchen and boom, pay for it and, and leave, right? No, I had to book an appointment with them, pay 10 euros up front, or the appointment wouldn't go through and then come back the next week and order the kitchen. Surprisingly, the kitchen only takes two weeks to get delivered. So that's that's pretty good. And you can customize it all right there. And it's beautiful. And it, it costs about 1500 euros for the kitchen. So it's a, as you can see, it's gonna be a small kitchen for the apartment. Just gonna be a whole counter across, the stove in the oven, the sink, the faucet I had to buy, the two cupboards, the fridge, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty nice. It's gonna be a little upgrade from our last kitchen. As you've seen, that kitchen was out of date. It was awful. So now we wait, we wait, we wait. While we wait for these kitchen materials, we're gonna paint these columns out back on the back porch. And here we got Mickey. <laughs> You're making me work, huh? <laughs> yeah. Look at her scraping all the old paint off. Cleaning the mold like a good wife, huh? <laughs> While daddy watches the kid and makes food and cleans the... <laughs> Shut up. Mama's out here painting. No. I got the paintbrush in hand. We're ready. So we're going to wait, 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 wait. But our waiting is doing more work. That's life here, eh? On Chiovo. Chiovo Island. Look at that. It used to be orange pink. Can you imagine this column being orange paint? Isn't that crazy, Mickey? <laughs> I think it's stupid. That was a, 
that was the inside color of all the walls upstairs and on the first floor but we painted over all this orange color that little orange color hideous hideous color it's all orange like neon orange and brown like look at that brown we're gonna get rid of that brown over there too like brown it looks ugly ugly i don't know what these guys their obsession with brown and orange were terrible 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 but yes we're painting the house while we wait whistle while you work <laughs> <laughs> Well, that only took us uh, 40 minutes or so, but we got the columns all painted white and it's perfect. So now we wait again. We wait, we wait, we wait. But I think what we're going to do is order more paint and paint all this wall all white and all that brown all white. See the brown on the bottom? Yeah, let's paint it all white. What do you think? All white like a ditty party. Jeez, that's scary. So we got our kitchen here, we got the countertop, we got the baseboard for under the sink. So you can't get underneath the sink and underneath the counter and stuff. Then we got the oven, we got the stove top somewhere down here, and we got all the cupboards. It's just a small kitchen, and there's the faucet for the kitchen, of course. And then next thing up is just to build it, right Enzo? He's so nosy, look at him. Him and cracking, oh. just chilling, huh? Is this from the oven? Yeah. It's beautiful. It's super big. That's what she said. Yes. And that's it. <laughs> Woo! And now let's build the kitchen. Let's put it all together. It's gonna be, it's gonna be one hell of a time. It looks, looks kind of hard, no? Yeah, because I can't figure out what is this for each thing. Yeah, I know. They're like, oh, it's easy. It's IKEA. This, we gotta build our own kitchen. Jeez. And me and you together? Oh my god, that's fight. That's sure. fight for sure. <laughs> well, let's go build it. We got one cupboard down. We think this one's for the stove or the oven and the stove, obviously. Working on our second one. And we're trying to figure out where all the parts are because they're all in different boxes. Like the feet didn't come with this one. So you got to figure out where all the parts are in these hidden boxes so it's pretty crazy but so far it's a success right mickey it wasn't so hard no we we made it <laughs> <laughs> no arguments yet no arguments yet i hit a little bit with yeah. the wall but it's everything okay except for the wall <laughs> except for the wall but we we got a little touch up paint we can touch that up mickey can dip her finger in the paint and and finger the wall but yeah we're here we're almost done we just gotta obviously build the rest and that's it <laughs> so far it's taking a long time oh my god an hour for this one <laughs> we start at 10. yeah but we're taking our time though to make sure it's perfect yeah and that is pooping <laughs> <laughs> progress we're talking about the progress right now we got one we got the sink in our box we got all the shelving hardware and we got two and then we got three so we only got three done so far but we took a pizza break we had some lunch we had some cappuccinos and relaxed a little bit so we're going fiaca fiaca as they say in croatia nice and slow the art 
of being lazy. So we're just taking our time with this. We got a couple days to do this, you know, get all this done, hang it up, and then, you know, call the electrician, the plumber, tell them to hook it up. I can hook up all of it myself, but the electricity is the one I can't do. But the plumbing is pretty easy, but the electricity is a little bit hard. So I'm gonna call my boy Felipe. Philippe is the best around, the best. So we're gonna call him. But right now we got three of them done. We gotta finish two more, then put the countertop on and put all the drawers in and all the doors on and then all the silverware and the hardware and the handles and all the trinkets and gadgets that come with it. So we're doing all that stuff. But I don't know, this is a view of the apartment. Should look nice with a new kitchen in it. Not bad. A lot of people hate this color blue, but I like it. I like it. But here we are. Let's go. We're almost done. We're getting there. Whew, just before season. So there's one, two, three. I got the other one around the corner. And I'm working on the very last one here. So let's get to work in here. Woo! Putting these little things in. You gotta do this to everyone. It's actually been pretty, pretty dang easy. Uh, just time consuming don't want to screw up uh ruin the wood because it's pressed for it and stuff like that so you don't want to you know hurry up the process and then make a mistake that's unforgivable so yeah here we are we're almost done and after we get this up it's gonna be nice running water new kitchen and tourist tour season comes and then we're ready here here we go let's go baby dun, 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 dun. Yeah, baby. Look at the kitchen. Mickey's leveling the feet at the bottom. And it's looking dope. It's coming together. Day two. It took us a pretty long time, but we took a lot of breaks. And yeah, we got it. Look at that, huh? It's coming together. And Mickey's on the ground. How are you feeling down there? Yeah, it's hard. I'm trying to spin it. Your arms aren't long enough, eh? But look at that beauty. There we go. Not bad, eh? For some rookies. Ah, we haven't killed each other yet, so that's pretty good. And yeah, now we're just going to finish it. We've been saying that, so let's get it. It looks pretty level. We're going to put the countertop on next. And the drawers in. And then the cupboards. And then the stove, maybe. I don't know. So we're basically done here. All the drawers are lined up perfectly. Just got to put the handles on them. And that's it. And put this last one on. Then get all the mechanical parts like the plumbing and the electricity hooked up, the oven and the stove top and the countertop. Pretty much easier. Well, I'm going to do that next. But I'm going to show you guys a little trick here. Well, it's not a trick. It's just something you got to watch out for. These things are kind of hard. So you got to have this groove i don't know if you guys can see that but there's a groove here and then there's like a sharp edge here you got to have like the indent of the groove for this hook to catch see this bar it has to catch in the groove and this just clips right on pretty easy ikea makes it pretty easy to do i'll tell you that this wasn't so difficult i had a little trouble on these drawers because i put it up one so there's a about a a quarter centimeter or two centimeters overlapping this drawer so then i had to take the two drawers off and then move them up i mean move the holes up so that the drawer hangs lower like a two centimeters lower you know so here you can see it on the bottom that's the difference right there right so about two centimeters it was hanging over up there so now i gotta probably move this one down a little bit which is okay you know this is my first time doing a kitchen hey Bada bing, bada boom, this is Bonjour, we did it. God damn, we did it. So here we are. We're gonna grab the door here. 
for the cupboards. Line them up as best as you can. And now I'm gonna get the camera in there. Let's see right here. So we're gonna try to do it like this. Whoa, okay, so it's gonna catch there. Boom! One down, now the bottom one. Now the bottom one, let's go baby. Boom! Dos, done! Senito baby! Now it's done, let's go. Out of the closet we come, and now we just gotta hang the cupboards up, but I'm gonna have to go to the hardware store and grab the rail for there, because I don't wanna drill any more holes in the wall. And after I do that, put the rail up, hang the cupboards up nicely, boom, put the countertop on, get the electrician to put an extension on the cord so it's long enough to reach the outlet, boom, we got it. And we're done here, yes, I'll show you the finished product in a bit. But right now, it's time to wait for the electrician, so we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait, and we're gonna wait. It's actually quite funny because I sent an email to Ikea saying, you guys sent me the wrong size drawers. Da 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 da, one drawer is too, too not enough fucking space. Da 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 da, it's going off. I'm trying to call them and stuff. Then my wife came up here, she's like, isn't there too, she didn't even know what she said actually. She said it like in a roundabout way where it's like, oh, I got an idea. And I'm like, you got a great idea. She's like, what? I didn't, I don't even know what I said. And then boom. Move the drawers down to the second hall. Jesus. Blonde moment. You know, sometimes you just get frightened and scared and you're like, oh my God, we got to do this within three days. Has to be done. Has to be done. And then you just overreact, you know? I'm sending hate mails to Ikea. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. But then, yeah. Oops. So I have to send them. Oops. Wrong person. I meant to send that to somebody else. So now all we got to do is cut the countertop. <laughs> No, we need the battery though, so we're waiting for the battery, so when we get the battery charged, we will cut it. Here we go. Here we go. Uh-oh, I've never done this before, but we're going to try it. I should actually get some different glasses on, eh? I'm going to get some different glasses on. The safety first, ladies and gentlemen. So I got the old safety shields on these eyes. Let's go. Did I do a good job? Who knows, but I got the tape down. Looks like the tape did a good job of not bringing the wood up. <sighs> Let's see this, huh? But the tape got screwed up. Look at this, Papa. Look at that. Let's see, huh? Let's see. Oh. God <laughs> Look at that, look at that. Let's see what's going on. Got the piece. Woo! Let's see what happened here. Let's take the tape off now. Let's take the tape off. See what's really up. Did he do it? Without ruining the surface. So far so good lads. So far so good. 
<laughs> Did he do it? Let's see. Here it is. The truth. He did it. He did it. His first time cutting a countertop. And it's a major success, people. A major success. Now I gotta cut off the sinkholes and the freaking stove top hole. I don't know if I can do that, but only one way to find out is try. So here are the wall brackets to hang the IKEA cupboards. I'm gonna put it up there, measure it from the ceiling, put it up there, make sure it's nice and level. I just cut these in two because they had to be a hundred centimeters in length. So that fits perfectly up there with the two cabinets. And then I'm going to bolt that up, hang the cupboards up, and then wait for the plumber and the electrician. Philip, where are you, Philip? I'm waiting, Philip. He said he'd be here on Thursday. So Thursday and Croatian time could be next week on a Monday. We got to wait and see. Do they ever show up on time? We'll see, right? I will let you know if he shows up on a Thursday or will it be after a Monday? Got the cupboards hung up, look at that. Just waiting for the fridge to get delivered. Put another white shelf across there. Waiting for Phil. Phil, where are you? And he, I'm gonna cut out the sink and the stove top and all that stuff and it's gonna be beautiful. But here we are, let's go on the balcony here for a second. Remember last year I did the ceiling still held up but right now i'm painting all the railings chipping off all the old paint on the cement sanding off all the mold and cleaning up all the mold fixing up all this so it's all nice and white for the season season's almost here so i got all my tools and i'm ready where's philip though waiting for philip let's go philip but look at this beautiful weather out wow we are still waiting for Philip to come and hook up the electricity, but look at this. I scraped off all the paint and there's mold that I wire brushed off. And look how easy this bottom piece is coming off, this bottom brown paint. Like, look at this. Yeah. With no effort. What do you think that's because? Because there's a bathroom on the other side. Is it because there's moisture coming from the inside and it's coming through the walls on the outside? Or is it moisture coming down the wall into that paint? Or is it because the paints don't mesh together properly because they use two different kinds of paints? Let me know below, but I'm painting the house and it's gonna be a job out here in Christ. <sighs> Not a bad way to wait for Philip. So this is the moment we've been waiting for. Philip came, he saw and he conquered. Philip. The Croatian hero, Philip. He did it. He came, he did it. He helped me out. He put the plugs on. He did it. He did it. You want to see the finished product? The finished product. Now this is all done. It's ready to be rented right now. So this apartment is done. Look at this. We'll start off here. Look how clean it is. Wow. Look at this, son. You got everything. Wow. Wow, wow, look at this. Isn't this just, wow. Wow, magical, we did it. We actually did it. We put it all together. Philip came, hooked up the plumbing, put the electrical wires together. We cut the holes in the sink. Bam, we did it. Wow, feels good. Always doing something and finishing it and making sure that you do it yourself, it just means that much more instead of hiring somebody. If you got time, if you got the money, sure, it is nicer to hire someone if you got the money, but if you got the time, just do it yourself. It's so much more rewarding in life when you conquer and accomplish something that you've done. It means so much more. It might not be the best, but it means so much more. And this is our apartment. Look how beautiful it is. Here's a little spinning circle of it. Look at this, bedroom. Comment below, if you guys rented this apartment, what would you want to change? Should I put a curtain across to separate the bedroom a little bit? Or should I just leave it like this? Because this is meant for a couple, maybe with kids on the day bed, on the couch bed here. And then they have a two bed. Or would you like a little bit of privacy and put, put a curtain across 
and separate the bedroom from the living room a little bit. What do you think? Let me know down below. This is Bonjo. We did it. We put the IKEA kitchen together. It looks marvelous. It's together. It's standing. We did it. We did it. And now we're ready for the Croatian season. Stay tuned for the video I'm making of tips and tricks and what we learned about renting vacation property rentals here in Croatia, here on the Dalmatian coast. Because there's a few things that's a little tricky. You got to pay tourist tax. We'll get into all of that. How much it costs? Is it worth it? Why does everybody do it here? And how do you do it? And how do you become an owner? We're going to get to that. Stay tuned for that video. This is Bonja. We're out here in Croatia. Boom. Dalmatia. Here we come, baby.